Oh, I am feeling amazing. Life is good. Yeah. I, you know, my skin looks good. My yeah. hair looks good. My nails, every, if everything looks good, baby, life is good. Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show. Welcome, welcome to Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. And of course, you are here in the Shaker's Den. Me, myself, Nikki Bougie, and my partner, Dreon Santana. We make up the Salt Shakers here at Women's Wrestling Talk. And of course, we have nothing but the best guest in the world of wrestling. Oh my goodness. Look who it is from Impact Wrestling, Jay Vidal. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Uh, we're we're good. We're we're really good. Um, now we know we we know you have a busy schedule, so we're just gonna get right into it. Last week we saw something really creative happen um, in Impact Wrestling, so we have to ask: Was it chili or was it dog food? <laughs> It was chilly and it was absolutely disgusting. Okay. Ugh. Like it. <laughs> like I, I have never had to shower and have chili just like completely come off of me and then shower the next morning and still have chili coming off of my hair and in places I didn't even know chili could go. Wow. I mean, you was in all white, hello. So like you and Giselle was in all white when that yeah. takes place. And I mean, like white and chili, it's not a good combo. It does not go well together. No, I had to throw the whole outfit away. My Calvin Klein shoes. Wow. Like it was, it was sad. It was sad. It was a funeral for the clothes, you know, but, but we're in better clothes today because that is what Giselle and I do. If mm. our clothes get ruined, we just go buy more expensive piece of clothes. I mean, that's what that's what you, that's what I would do anyway. I want right. to buy some new clothes. But speaking of Giselle, I mean, you re-debuted in Impact Wrestling, working alongside Giselle Shaw. So talk about what it what's it's like, you know, working alongside her and you know, shopping together and doing all types of things like that. It causing chaos too, because that's what y'all been doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, causing chaos, or are we just living life? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I absolutely loved it like i think that everything happens for a reason right i remember when i first went to impact wrestling um and i had like my debut match against eric young i remember thinking man i hope you know this goes through and i hope something more comes out of it um then it didn't but then you skip forward you know a year a year and a half later and this happens and it just feels right. It feels like, you know, preparation meeting opportunity now, like almost being overprepared for the opportunity and then being able to team up with, you know, Giselle Shaw and be by her side in this journey. I think it just, it was what was supposed to happen. Everything happens for a reason. This is the reason why. And like I said, we're not, we're not causing chaos. We're just, you know, we're just existing. This is just how we happen to exist in the Impact universe. Well, speaking of existing, Preparation and Giselle Shaw, can you give us a little insight on how Giselle is preparing for her match against Deanna Perrazzo at No Surrender? Oh, baby, Giselle is training every day for that match, like no days off. And honestly, you know, she got chili thrown on her. I got chili thrown on me. So I don't know. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. I'm not going to give away no no secrets, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying Deanna better be ready for this weekend. Ooh. Well, the virtuosa definitely need to keep her eyes out, okay? <laughs> so earlier within the conversation, she was talking about, of course, you know, in late 2021, you did appear on Impact Wrestling. You had your matches with Eric Young and Jonah, to be exact. And then fast forward, you're now a part of the company as the first openly gay male wrestler. I think that's absolutely amazing you're making history so what does the representation mean to you and how will you represent the community in impact wrestling it it means the world to me and i've said this before i don't think it really clicked until 
I was called um, by the head of media relations at Impact, um, Ross, and he called me. He said, yeah, I think you're actually the first uh, openly gay male wrestler assigned with Impact. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And, you know, hung up. And then, like, <laughs> two minutes later, I'm just, like, I'm making myself food. I'm, no, no, that's not just, you know, that's not just cool. That's, it's groundbreaking. It's, you know, I'm doing what I've always wanted to do as a gay man in professional wrestling. I'm doing my part in knocking down barriers. So hopefully down the line, you know, it won't be looked at as, you know, having your token gay guy, there could be more representation in the company mm -hmm. period when it comes to LGBTQ people in our community. Um, and I also think that I forget about it until I go to a show. Like I was um, at an indie show over here in Vegas just, you know, visiting some friends and there's this gay wrestler from Texas and he comes over to me and he's very like, you know, eyes are wide and like, you know, big smile and oh my gosh, Jay, I don't like, you know, it's so nice to me. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is cool. You know, it's, we're doing our part, I think, to break down these barriers that should have been broken down a while ago, but we're doing it now. And that's the important thing. That is. And speaking of rewarding moments, what would you say is your most rewarding moment thus far in your Impact Wrestling career? Um, my most rewarding moment, even though it happened my first time at Impact, I think it was just being in the ring with Eric Young. I thought it was so cool because here's somebody who I would always see on TV when I was you know, younger, I'd see him in Impact then, you know, as well as other companies. And now I was like eye to eye with him, right? Like it was one of those moments where I had to think to myself to be in the moment. And it was the inner voice in my head. It just said, whoa, you're, you're doing this right now. You're here right now. So that to me was my most rewarding moment and being able to go backstage and all these wrestlers that I saw on TV giving me props for what I did out there. That was really cool to me. Yeah. I mean, the flip side of rewarding things, you know, what would you say has been like your most challenging moment, you know, in Impact or just in your wrestling career? I think my most challenging moment was probably my first or second time managing only because I never actually managed, right? Mm -hmm. I trained to be a professional wrestler and when they train you to be a professional wrestler they don't really train you to be a manager and there's a whole different level of entertainment that comes with that a whole different level of what to do what to say where to be and all of that wrapped in one it just it was very difficult for me at first but once i started getting the hang of it and i'm like oh this is you know, I'm, I, I've, I've already got the hardest part down, which is understanding what's going on in the ring and knowing where to be and when to be there. I just got to apply that now when I'm out there. So I, that on, for me was just one of the hardest things. My first or second time being a manager, if you watch me on camera compared to now, now I'm comfortable out there. Now I'm over there seducing referees and, you know, <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> so yeah, that, that has to be my cha most challenging thing. That's awesome. I love it. I've had uh, numerous times where I've gotten to see you in action. We post some of your work um, on our Women's Wrestling Talk Instagram and Twitter as well. Now, over here at Women's Wrestling Talk, we do like to play a few little games, um, as you and Giselle like to play games sometimes, you know. Um, it's called One Word Knockout. So we're going to give you a knockout, and you can give us one word. If you can't think of one word, you can give us multiple words. Um, first and foremost... Savannah Evans. Powerhouse. Killer Kelly. Dangerous. Masha Slamovich. I'm going to use two here, okay? Okay. And and blur, bleep one out if you have to. <laughs> Bad bitch. Period. Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> uh, Nikki James. Legend. Deanna Perrazzo. Chili. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Grace. I'll use two for this one. Future legend. 
Okay. Alicia Edwards. Feisty. And Gail Kim. Iconic. Okay. Nice. That she is. That she is. That so, she is. Yes. Of course, we know, you know, about your wrestling in ring ability and things like that. And is there ever going to be a moment where you step back into the ring? But also, like, who are some of your dream opponents too in Impact Wrestling? I definitely do believe that there will be a moment when I step back in the ring. I wholeheartedly do. Um, my some of my dream opponents, um, Chris Bay for sure. Hmm. Chris Bay for sure. Um, Trey without a doubt. Like, I would also say Crazy Steve too. I think would be a really cool match. And, you know, I'm just trying to think about everybody on the roster. I think Josh Alexander would be a really cool match just because that would be such a challenge for me. And another one, and every time I see him, I always talk about it, Speedball Mike Bailey. Like, you talk about clash of styles. Mm -hmm. I am all for clashes of styles. So, you know, I'll just use my pretty looks like I always do. And, you know, that, that, cause that always, that always kind of makes them turn their head, right? Like, whoa, maybe he doesn't got nothing up his sleeve, but Jay Vidal always got something up his sleeve. As you could tell by me managing Giselle Shaw, Giselle always gives me pointers. She's always got something up her sleeve. So now, thanks to her, Jay Vidal always got something up his sleeve. Okay. I'm here for it. <laughs> um, now, with all that being said, you brought up the X Division champion. You brought up the Impact World Champion. Are there any specific gold championships, titles that you're looking at in Impact Wrestling? Maybe even the Digital Media Championship. Have you had your eyes closely to any of the titles that we see? Well, first and foremost. I want to do my part in helping Giselle Shaw win the World Knockouts Championship because she's going to win it, period. She's going to win it. She could do it without me, but I know that, you know, with me by her side, hopefully it would, you know, help her get there quicker. For me personally, for Jay Vidal, the X Division Championship is something that I've always wanted to hold since I was a kid, I always knew I was going to be a professional wrestler. And being introduced to Impact Wrestling, I was always so in love with the X Division because I saw them and I said, if they could do it, I could do it. These are guys who remind me of myself, who are my size, who do the style of wrestling, which has always entertained me, you know, that high flying style. So the X Division Championship is definitely a big goal for me. I was telling Nikki that maybe you guys would go out there to the knockouts tag titles, you and Giselle, and take down the Death Dogs. <laughs> I was like, that would be so freaking cool. Legendary. Do that. Listen, never say never, all right? You never know. You never know. And People want to talk about Giselle Shaw being the Black Widow and this, this, and that. Her and I still get along. So what does that tell you? That tells you that everybody else is the problem, not literally. Giselle Shaw. <laughs> so No Surrender is literally this week. And I mean, they're going to your neck of the woods where you currently live now. So I mean, like, talk about going, being now signing Impact, going to No Surrender in your, the uh, state that you live in now. I mean, what 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 are we gonna be doing for the gear? You know what what is Jay Vidal gonna be looking like? You know what what can we expect from you? You know going into your family, probably being their friends and things like that, and no surrender. So I cannot tell you what I'm gonna be doing for my outfits, only because no. I love to show out. I love it to be a surprise. Um, I think that it's if you see my style sense from the first day that I was back at Impact to now, it's like whew, gone way up there. Like we're, you know, life is good, money's good. So those outfits are popping. Nah. <laughs> um, no, I just gotta say that I will be showing out. That is it. Giselle and I will be showing out like we always do and being the best looking people out there. Um, and I'm excited to be here in Vegas. I'm excited because I train here so often 
And now the students who I help train over here are going to be at the show. They're going to be helping out. They're going to be setting up the ring, you know, paying their dues as I paid my dues before. And they'll be able to see somebody close to them who's helping them learn their craft, doing their thing out there and being on TV and knowing that this goal is attainable and achievable the same way that I would see Chris Bay doing it when I first moved out here to Vegas because he was the first person close to me that got signed. You know, these up and coming students are going to be able to see guys like me, guys like Bay do their thing out there and know that they could do it. And I think that that's probably one of the most important things, right? It's giving back to professional wrestling and leaving this business better than how you found it. That's beautiful. Um, well, on the flip side of that, as we get ready for No Surrender, would you like to leave any last messages on behalf of yourself and Giselle Shaw to Deanna Perrazzo as they gear up for their match? Um, I just hope that Deanna wears something cheap, you know, something that's easily replaceable. Because if she thinks that we're just going to let it slide what she did to us, not once, but twice to multiple outfits, it ain't going to happen. Deanna, just be ready and watch your back. Whew. Well, before we get out of here, let everyone know where they can find you on social media. You could find me on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram at the J Vidal. That's the J A I V I D A L. Okay. And of course, you have been tuned in with Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet.